Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to do my February haul, talking about all of the products that I purchased through February. I have it laying next to me and I'm kind of shocked at how much it is. I was sort of not expecting it to be too much because I am trying to not buy as much makeup because I do have a lot. And I, as I talked about in my project pan video, I do have a lot I want to use up as well. And I don't want to add things to my collection that will take away from me trying to use up the products I'm trying to finish. I'm just going to start with this one. This is from Boots. This is the number 7 Protector and Perfect. This was a, um, it's the advanced collection. It was a Christmas set, I believe. But it was on discount and I needed a night cream and a night cream. And I got both here for less than the price of these two together. So they are 250 each. And, and okay, but this set whole thing was 350 which is pretty inexpensive when it comes to number seven because number seven is a drugstore brand, but it is quite pricey because drugstore in Norway is expensive, everything here is expensive. But I'm pretty happy with this. I currently have a sample size of the day cream, night cream, hand cream, and eye cream in here that I got in the advent calendar. So I'm pretty excited to try this. I do think I'm going to give the hand cream away to my mum because she really likes it and I do have a lot of hand creams currently. But the rest I think I'm going to try and play with and I might do a review if you are interested. But I'm super excited for this because this was a really good deal and I'm pretty happy that I got it. Next up, this is lying outside of the bunch. It's a mouth wash. Mouth wash. That was weird. Um, I have used this one before. You might have seen it in a video last year at some point. But again, this was on sale, I had run out and I went to the dentist earlier this year and I had to fill a couple of cavities, I did two earlier this year and I have another one in March. Not looking forward to that one. But um, in December she did tell me that she recommended sort of a fluorine mouthwash. I think fluorine is the right word here, but yeah. But this was on sale and it is a brand that my mouth can use without getting irritated because I have pretty sensitive teeth and my gums are pretty sensitive and a lot of mouthwash tend to burn to the point where I can't even have it near my face because my eyes will start watering and my face will entirely hurt. That was not sentence but I do like this a lot. I've used this a little bit. This is the thing with some of these products I have used, some of them I haven't. If there's anything you see that you want me to do a review on just let me know. But I like that mouthwash a lot. Next up is this. This is a collection of all kinds of products from various stores. Some of them were purchased by me. Some of them were purchased by my grandparents for me when we were out shopping one day and some of them are bought. Were bought by my mum I think. But and also I'm just gonna get this out of the way. This is from Wonder Brow. It's the Wonder 2 One Step Eyebrow Gel in the shade Blonde. I won this in a competition so this was sent to me. It is what is on my eyebrows today, excuse them by the way. I did have a little bit of trouble putting this on this morning and I was a little stressed so they didn't turn out exactly how I wanted but I did end up fixing it and I do like this a lot. I've used this twice and I did film the first impression which will be up soon. But if you've tried it, please let me know what you think of it because I think it's pretty darn good. Next up, I have a moisturiser and this is also from number 7. This is the Beautiful Skin Day Cream for normal to oily skin. If you've watched my channel for a while, you will know that I love the one for dry to very dry skin. But my skin has been a bit more oily recently and I decided to pick this one up because it was 50% off. Which makes this a little bit more inexpensive, which is pretty nice because it is, as I said, pretty pricey to begin with. I use this a little bit and it does work quite well with my skin. My skin hates everything. I have pretty sensitive skin that tends to get very acne prone whenever I'm using products that it doesn't like and skincare is the worst for me. But number seven has worked with my skin for a while now and I decided to pick this up because my skin has been getting pretty oily during the day, particularly when I wear makeup. And so far I'm liking this a lot. Uh, next up I have a body scrub. This is from Soap and Glory. It's the Sugar Crush Body Scrub. I love this one. I've used this one before. This one I haven't started on yet. Oh my gosh, let's try not to make a mess in the bed here. But it smells amazing. It's got a really, really pleasant lime smell. And I love anything citrusy. So this is right up my alley. Oopsies. And I do like this. I have sensitive skin. I think I've said that like 50 times so far. 
but my body skin is also pretty sensitive but this is really really nice if you want to scrub off any sort of dead skin or just to give your body a nice scrub because I don't find that it is too harsh but it does get the scrubbing done without a fuss really so I like this a lot and I'm very excited to continue using that one Recently, a store near me started selling Wet n Wild, and I like Wet n Wild a lot. I love their eyeshadows, and when I heard that, heard about this one from YouTube, I really wanted to pick it up, and I was kind of sad that it wasn't out when I was in the US because it came out like a couple months after I got home. But it's the Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and I have mine in the shade Dulce de Leche, which is a really pretty contour and. Um, highlight they are both matte and these work really nicely with my skin tone I don't get too much out of the highlight because it sort of matches me but I can use it as an under eye setting powder and to just brighten up any areas after I've put on the contour also to lighten it if that needs to be but the contour powder is the perfect shade for me I'm wearing it a little bit today and I do love this a lot it's super 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 creamy it's a bit powdery because it's so pigmented but I do not find that it looks powdery on the skin at all. I also did pick up the Coverall Primer and this smells like paint to me, which is sort of unpleasant. But it's not super strong and it does go away when you've blended it into the skin. But this reminds me of a number 7 primer that I have and I like that one a lot and this is also really good. I'm using this today as well, I do like it a lot and I'm going to continue playing with it and I might film a dupes video for this one because this is a lot cheaper than the number 7 one. I also got a eye pencil, this is like ridiculously long, it's almost the length of my face. But this was for free when you bought a mascara and I bought a mascara for my sister's birthday to give to her. And this is the Colour I Can Coal eyeliner, that was a bit strange. And it's Baby Got Black, that's the shade name, and it's a really nice, it's really creamy and it's really black, so I haven't played with this too much, but so far I'm liking how this one looks. I did pick up a hair oil spray, this is from OGX, it's the Weightless Hydration Plus Coconut Water. And I've been using this a little bit because my hair has been really dry recently, but this has helped a lot. My hair feels super, super soft now. I do spritz quite a lot of this through my hair when it's damp. And then I will blow dry my hair or let it dry naturally. And I do like this a lot. It does give a lot of hydration to my hair and I just think this is amazing. I do have two nail polishes here. I have one from Nails Inc. with the tag still on. And this is the Gel Effect in Old Burlington Street, which is a gorgeous navy blue. I haven't tried this one yet, but I will keep you posted. And then I have this one from OPI, which is in Golda Golda Two Shoes, which is also the one I'm wearing on my nails right now. But I do have a sparkly top coat on top, but this is really nice. I did notice it was a bit streaky, but with the top coat over the top, you can't notice it, but I do really like this one as well. I have one setting spray here. This is from Jan Thomas, which is a Norwegian makeup artist, I believe. And this is a ginormous bottle. It's 200 milliliters, which is about twice the amount as the next ones because these are no this is actually just 60 so this is a lot more and I am excited to try this one because I've had a lot of good things about it but kind of hoping I didn't waste my money because I'm running with setting spray and this one was on sale as well as pretty much everything that I bought so excited to try that I have two things from H&M which was also on sale. I have the True Matte Finishing Powder in the shade Porcelain. Yeah, Porcelain, which has a pretty nice sleek packaging and the powder is actually pretty nice and pale. I have worked with this and it's super, super soft and silky, which is really nice. It does blend into the skin pretty well, but I do have to be careful because if I put too much on, I can get a bit of a powdery look. But it's super nice for the price and I am going to play a lot with this and I will let you know what I think. And the other one is their Pure Radiance Powder Blusher in Tawny Peach. And this is a gorgeous, sort of a brownish neutral colour. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. It's on the bottom here. It's sort of a brownish with a bit of a hint of pink I think. And it is absolutely beautiful on the skin. It's a really nice natural blush if you are into that. So 
This is my second of the Pure Radiance blushes from H&M and I love this one as well. I think they are amazing. The last thing in my basket is this Cores Body Milk and this is in the shade All Scent Basil Lemon. I got this as a birthday gift from Vita and it smells absolutely amazing. I haven't tried this too much on my body yet but it's super nice and creamy and it smells amazing. If you have Chorus um, in a shop near you I highly recommend checking this one out because I have tried it I think once and it was super nice and creamy and hydrating and it smells amazing. Now um, last month I talked briefly about having placed an order that didn't arrive and that they were going to refund me the money. They did, I placed the order again, it was really unique and I sort of changed the original order uh, but I did get a lot of the same stuff so I'm pretty happy with this. This package did arrive on time, nothing near as damaged as well, I love Feeling Unique, I think they are amazing. I'm just going to get the two sample sizes out of the way, this is from V Sheets, the Aqualia Thermal hydration something uh, hydration cream I was reading the French side, no wonder I didn't understand it and then the La Roche Posay Redermic R Corrective UV SPF 30 uh, anti-aging corrector um, these two sounded interesting and I just picked them so I'm going to try them out then to the actual box. First I picked up the NYX Tame and Frame uh, Tinted Brow Pomade. I bought mine in the shade Blonde. I have not tried this. I haven't tried anything other than the lipstick in this one. I'm going to talk about that when I get to it. But I did pick up this one. It is in the shade Blonde so it does look like it's going to match me. It is a bit greyer it looks like than the Wonder Brow but I'm excited to try it. If you have, as I said earlier, tried anything that I'm talking about please let me know what you think of them and stuff and if you want to see a review and a demo or a tutorial with anything also let me know. But I'm super excited to try this. Then I have two nail polishes from Tanya Burr. I have Penguin Chic which is a gorgeous grey and then I have Peaches and Cream which is sort of a lighter version of the one I'm wearing on my skin skin on my nails today. Sort of a lightish peachy cream kind of colour. I love that they have the little sort of pinky hearts on top there. I'm super excited to try them. I haven't tried anything from Tanya Bear at all I think. So I'm really excited for these. If you've tried anything from Tanya let me know because I really want to pick up some more stuff. But I'm super excited for that. And then I have the Yes To Carrots I would say. Yes To Tomatoes Combination Skin activated charcoal bar soap. I heard Jenny Ernst talk about this. She's a flight attendant attendant, flight attendant vlogger and I will leave her channel down below. But I'm super excited to try this because she has skin that sounded very similar to mine. She's set, used this and she likes it a lot. So super excited to try it. I haven't opened this. I was going to use it this morning but I thought why would I dirty it up before showing it on camera. So I will keep you posted on how I like this one because I'm super excited. It is also the first sort of bar soap for my face that I think I've ever used, so it's going to be interesting, I think. I bought two lip pencils from NYX, and it's pretty funny because they are different lengths, and the writing is a bit different on both of them, but I bought the shade Natural and the shade Auburn, which is a really nice dark colour. I haven't opened these, but let me crack into the packaging here and I will give you a small swatch. Oh my gosh. So, no swatches today because I can't break into the packaging but I will have swatches on my blog. The link will be in the description below but I'm super excited to try these. Then I have an eyeshadow palette. This is from Tanya Bear. It's the Hollywood Eye Palette and it has my kind of shade which is sort of warm brown bronzy tones. I have not tried them. I haven't even swatched them. I'm super excited to play with them. Um, and the swatches of everything, of course, will be on my blog, which is linked in the description below. But I'm super excited for this. I was between this and another palette from Tanya Bear. If you've tried any of them, please let me know what your favourite one is. And if you've tried the brow palette, also let me know, because I'm curious about that one. Second to last, it's the NYX HD Concealer. I haven't tried this, but this is... or well, it was considerably cheaper on Feel Unique than it is in store, and I needed a concealer because I'm almost running out. 
My shade is in 01, which I believe is porcelain. And looks like it's going to be pale enough, so I'm super excited to try this one. The last one is the lipstick that I am wearing on my lips. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate. And this is her nude line. I saw Beauty by Emily Fox talk about these. So this is in the shade 42, which is a gorgeous nude. Um, talk about these and swatch these on her YouTube channel. I will leave that video down below. And I was between this one and the 43, but I did decide to go for this one because I am looking for a nude lipstick. And this pretty much ticked all the boxes for me and I've worn this twice now it's super creamy super pigmented it smells really nice sort of sweet floral ish if you smell the lasting finish Kate lipsticks you will know what I mean but the pigmentation is awesome the color is fantastic I'm so excited to get more use out of this because it is pretty much my perfect nude that that was it I'm so sorry that this video turned out to be a lot longer than I had expected I had no idea I bought that much makeup but thank you so much for watching I will see you again very very soon if you've tried any of the products that I showed today please let me know what you think of them in the comments below I will have swatches as I said up on my blog also linked in the comments below and also any channels that I mentioned will link not in the comments but in the description box below thank you for watching I will see you very very soon bye